you all. Made it into work. Didn't have a chance to uh, do a video with... Uh, um, I did do a video. This, no, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to do a video with me and Adorable or Glow. But I wanted to come in. I wanted to say good morning to you all. And um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You all, I know that you may worry and may stress. Uh, but today, try to change it up a little bit. And um, it was a, I wanted to tell you all, it was a young lady in where I work. And she's not the first one that I did like this. She's not the first and she's not going to be the last. And I went and got her a tablet. I went and got her pencil and paper. Because when you're stressing, you think too much. You really do. We have a tendency to think too much. So I decided, hey, let me go get this young lady some paper and pencil. Tell her to write in her journal. She can write in her journal. When you can't sleep at night, write in your journal. Now, one thing about that journal that you write in, try not to put so much negativity in it. See yourself coming out of it. See yourself growing from it. And see yourself fine. Um, if you're going through something, because I used to have a problem with my children. Like if they were out at night and they had the car. And first thing I, you know, I don't know, mothers, we think of the the negative things. I don't know why, but we do. And um, a lady had already told me earlier, prior to that, long, you know, telling me, Phil, start writing in your journal. Write this stuff down. Put the time that you do it on. And when you do it, you pray about it. You know that it's going to turn out okay. You believe it's going to turn out okay. And when my children used to get home, I mean, while they were out there, I'm stressed. And when they, I'm like, ooh, we, when they get back here, it's not going to be like this. I'm not going to deal with this no more. I'm dead. I mean, you stress, you're stressed over so much. And then when you see them, you forget that you were even stressed. All you do is really want to see your child back at home. Once they made it at home, you're okay. It's not so much as a, the vehicle and all, but they're young and the crazy stuff happened. So I know, write in your journal, and I guarantee you, I give you a month, two months, three months, or even longer. Go back to that journal again. Read what you wrote, what time of night you did it, or what time of day you did it, and you'll find out, wow, I came up out of that. I did that. I came up out of that. Journal writing helped me out so much. I saw something else that helped me out a whole lot. It was my circle of friends. Friends are okay, but most of our friends uh, are going to be on our side. So you really need somebody who will tell you the truth. Tell you the truth. Not so much as what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. Um, I have one friend like that. Like I said, we do it. We just tell like it. Find you a friend that is going to be able to tell you the truth and to trust them. Not saying trust them as you do God, but we have to trust some people here on earth and to trust them. And they, a friend will call you back, ask you how you're doing, how was the situation, knowing that you're going to come out of this. Because young people go through things. You all young people, if you're listening, you're going to go through this in the life of journey. Your journey is going to turn out well. But going through it, baby, baby, that's hard. <laughs> Whew, that's hard. Nobody can... um take you and you got to miss this journey oh no you got to take this journey you got to take it but how you take it is what matters take it swallow it and keep going now don't dwell on that same thing every day you're on that same thing every day that same story sometimes it's good to talk to somebody who don't mind listening now see me if you were my friend I don't care how many times you tell me that story, to be honest with you, because it, when, especially when you're young, I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. You're going to tell me and you're going to tell me because that's your way of healing. That's your way of healing. But when you get to the point of so many age the age, I'm like, wait a minute now. They should have had that back there on that journey down that road a long time ago. So why are they sitting here? You know, come on now. You got to get over it. You learn as you go. It's no reason at 51 years old that I am going through the same thing. I didn't been there. 
I didn't done that and I'm not going to put my foot back in it. Um, with anything that's going on in my life, I refuse to have anybody over me again as uh, taking care of me, having me to uh, do what they say do because I need your finance. I refuse to do that. I outgrew that. I had to outgrow it as saying, no, Phyllis, you can do this for yourself. You're going to be fine for this. All you do is need to do it. And God has gave me a lot of strength to get through it. You young people, I don't care what kind of relationship you're in, man, woman, whatever, always know somebody and you have angels around you. Get on the phone. They have 1-800 numbers. Get on the phone. Start calling prayer partners. Start calling, make friends with people that pray. The best people that pray for you is mostly older people. I'm going to be honest with you. There's some younger ones out there, and it, you can find younger friends. But if you can get somebody that's wise and that went through it, and that's going to listen and give you encouraging words, find that person. Because we have a tendency to almost want to commit suicide. We go into the depression so bad, we think that life is just so bad for us. People, you know, don't understand. A lot of younger people don't understand what you've been through. So try to find an older person because the older person say, baby, I didn't been there. Baby, you're going to come up out of this. And you will. Know and believe that you will. You will come up out of this. And I like to say on that note, hopefully you all get to see Adorable today. She's at home flipping around. I have a friend that comes by my house and she do not like Adorable at all. She do not like adorable. But adorable is mine. And adorable was put in my life for a reason. And I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. So, I want you all to know that the situation it is not as bad as you think it is. I want you guys to know God loves you. And I love you too. And you are going to be fine. Watch and see. Do that journal and come back and tell me. It may start, if you do a journal today, it, the next week or tomorrow, watch, start, start, start. It starts changing. Your mind starts changing. So, you guys do that journal. And I double dare you. I double dare you to try it. I double dare you to try this. God loves you. I love you. And you all stay blessed. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Love you. Bye-bye.